welcome, Richard III. I'm sorry, who? I am Richard Plantagenet, King of England. I wanted to make sure we were clear that you are not Richard I. I know. I've never been on a crusade. Or Richard II. I know. I'm popular with the people. Hello, Dr. Cat. And who are you? Henry Tudor. Henry Tudor is a Weasley Welsh nobody. You don't look exactly match fit, Chunky. I think when people make personal remarks like that, it's really unfair. I, I'm really, really sorry. Richard III, meet Henry VIII. What? So you're crouch back? Well, you murdered your way to power. Hi, Dr. Cat. Sorry I'm late. Play over around. You know what it's like. Oh, that's all right. William Shakespeare, meet Richard III and Henry VIII. What? I've written plays about both of you, that's weird. <laughs> what? You're a writer, a humble pen pusher. What are you doing here? I thought this was Monarchs Anonymous, not meet a commoner who can write. Writers, they make stuff up. Let there be gall enough in thy ink that I write with a goose pen. And you yeah. can quote me on that. Thank you, love. I will. Look, you have no idea of the responsibility of being a king. Yes, lovely, but um, shall we simplify it? How about... Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. How about that? That's what I get. I'm on a roll. Uh, yeah, that, that is pretty good. Perhaps I should explain. William Shakespeare is generally regarded as the greatest playwright in the English language. His plays are still being performed 450 years after they were written. It's thanks to him that people still know who you kings even are. Anyway, it's my session and I'm in charge and I say he stays. Sorry, Your Majesty, I mean Will. Stop it, stop it. I'm, I'm just a writer, earning my living by my quill, trying to bring a little something into those sad people's lives, laughter and tears, dread and happiness, oh, all through the magic of theatre. Blah, 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 blah. What did you write about me? I hope I was the hero. Ooh, was it about my jousting? Or, or, um, or me being like King Arthur? Yes, yes, it was. You were great and everybody loved you. Your people, your Queen, your church, your lovely daughter Elizabeth. Is that true, Will? Yes, of course it is. And how about Richard III? King Richard Plantagenet. You were great and everybody loved you, your people, your queen, and oh. so on and so forth. Will, <laughs> is that true? Yes, all is true. Get it? <laughs> no, I mean, are you sure? Is it true, really? I had to make a story that people would buy into. I'd just done Henry VI, part three, and it bombed. I mean, Titus Andronicus was a big hit on account of all the murders. So I just thought, give the punters what they want, and bingo! Don't worry, though. It was, it was one of my most successful plays. Everybody remembers Richard III. What about me? Mm, and you too. Why do they remember me? Is it for my uh, fairness, my uh, wisdom, m m my piety? Exactly. Well, don't forget we talked about this. What was your homework? Remember your mantra? Yes. What, what was it? You can't please all of the people all of the time. That's right. So perhaps sometimes you need to tell the truth. And maybe this is one of those times. So... All right. So maybe I chose to tell a darker story. Maybe I thought the punters would like a tale about a, a proper villain. I did my research. It's all there. I just put it together. Whoa, whoa, what, what, what do you mean, proper villain? 
There's nothing like murders to get bums on seats or to get bums standing. What murders? Well, as I recall, there was uh, your brother George, what? the Lord Hastings, Rivers and Grey, Sir Thomas Vaughan, Duke of Buckingham, oh, your nephews, uh, Richard and Edward. Oh, and your wife. I see. And um, who did you say murdered them? I, I don't remember. Well, I think you do. All right. King Richard did the murders. What? That's outrageous. That's, that's, that's fake history. I made you famous. Everybody remembers Richard III, thanks to me. And does everyone remember me? Yes, they all remember you. But who is that again? Is there anything else you made up? Well... All right, I may have made you a little more villain. What? How? Well, you know, a bit of a limp with an arm, hunchback, standard villain stuff. Next you'll be telling me you put words in my mouth that I never said. Words, words, words. This play sounds dreadful. Oh, is my dad in it? <laughs> At the end. Look, I'll be honest with you. Great actors queue up to play Richard III. They all want a chance to be a proper villain. And that's supposed to make me feel better. I bet they queue up to play me as well. Good old Henry VIII, bluff King Hal. Yes, of course they do. This is ridiculous. This does not feel to me at all like a non-judgmental safe space. And as for this writer's work, it sounds to me like a, 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 a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing. Thanks, love. Brilliant. Stop writing! Don't you dare quote me on that! Don't... Right. I'm leaving. Don't go. I've got more questions. And we've got to talk about reputation some more. Oh, hello. Oh, he's gone. Well, let's move on. So, Will, how did your play about King Henry affect his reputation? Sorry, Cat. I'm going to go too. I, I've just had another idea for a play about a real villain set in Scotland. Toodles! No, come back. We've got to fine tune your mantra. I don't even know if it's working. Not to worry. <laughs> you know, don't worry about them. So uh, it's all about me and how great I am. Uh... Sorry, sorry, I'm only getting every other word. It, it must be a glitch in the tech. I'll, I'll have to go. I mean, are you sure? Because I, I, I can still see and he... Are you just doing a face? Are you pretending you're frozen in a, a funny face? Because I'm not... I mean, you're moving slightly. I think you're trying to you're trying to get off. I can still see you. You're moving slightly... <sighs> Let's me talk about how great I am. I'm really great because I am King of England, King of France, and now King of Ireland, which is great. And a friend of the Pope. And here the Church of England. Stop! Stop the credits! I have an important announcement to make. It is, of course, I, Henry, the eighth of that illustrious name. King of England! Uh, oh, no, whatever, you know the rest. I have been informed that we've been given some money by some very generous people to help support me and my um, fellow monarchs on our GoFundMe page. I would like to say a big thank you to Anne. Mm. Anne, that's a very attractive name. Anne, are you uh, in the... No, Henry, you've... you've we're trying to give up hands. Yes, sorry, sorry. Um, so, Anne, Anne, thank you anyway. And thank you to Sherry for donating for the third time. And to Wyatt, who I believe is a big fan of our show and a very intelligent young man indeed.
Um, thank you to all those who donated anonymously and do not wish to be named. I mean, we thank you anyway so much. And oh, we must say a big thank you to Claire, who donated £200. £200, Claire, you must be a feared and terrible noble in your own right to be able to just dispense of £200 like that. Well, I'm... I'm Claire, are you, uh, you looking for a husband? I mean, I, I don't think I've ever had a... Henry, or my, no, stop it, stop it, stop it. All right, all right. We, are now, we, 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 we as the monarchs are now so close to reaching our target. So thank you to all of you who have donated. And if you would still like to donate, you can find the link uh, to the GoFundMe page in the description box below the video. It all sounds very complicated, but it's just down there. Oh, yes, and we must thank everyone who watches our channel and who subscribes too. Please keep sharing. Please keep liking. Please keep telling all your friends and family about us. We are great. Uh, you can also hit the notification bell, which will tell you when the next video is out. We are being sneakier this season with our episodes, and we will sort of drop them randomly to keep you on your toes. I shall now let them resume with the credits. God save the king. God save me. And God save you all.